Romance, cryptocurrency, and investment scams are skyrocketing. Highly sophisticated, highly educated people, as well as large corporations, are increasingly being scammed. Kirsten Joyce takes a closer look at how you can avoid becoming the next romance scam victim. It feels real. 68 year old Yvonne Harlan had nearly given up on dating when friends suggested she try Tinder. Almost immediately, a man reached out. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. She was intoxicated with the attention. They began communicating through text, then phone calls. He would call me 7 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock at night. And, you know, it's, it's strange. Someone is calling you regularly and texting you like that. You sort of begin to anticipate then. But the first red flag came when he canceled their in person meeting. He had an excuse, and a few weeks later, he asked her to help sell his father's European estate. And I thought, well, that's a real switch. You know, usually they're asking for money, they don't want you to receive money. And I did some research and come to find out that is money laundering and I could be subject to criminal penalties. She said no. About a month later, after he professed his love for her, she didn't hear from him for two days. I wrote to him and I said, is everything okay? And he goes, no. There was an explosion at my work site and all the computers were destroyed and this machine fell on me and I broke my leg and I'm... He sent me a picture of him in the hospital with a hospital gown. He urged her to help him by selling his computers, and that's when she called it off. I blocked him, deleted all of his texts and everything. I was so angry and upset. I didn't think I was lonely and desperate, but I've been working from home for two years. Maybe I was. It's incredible the amount of victims that feel like they're in a real relationship. David McClellan's company, Social Catfish, has been tracking these scamming trends seriously for the past five years, using data from the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center and the FTC, ah. along with a poll of more than 3,000 romance scam victims. He found that unlike other scams that happen quickly, romance scams last on average six to nine months. And 75% of romance scam victims have some form of college education. They're breeding you to become the person they want you to be. They're isolating you from friends and family. They're building this relationship and this persona that they've, they've given you. More than a third of romance scams originate on social media, where scammers create fake profiles to engage. People are victimized all over the internet. You know, on you know, social media is, is extremely popular. You know, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok are still the top social networks that we've seen. We've seen a lot of emerging apps. So any app that you can talk to somebody online, so like a game like Words with Friends, where you can chat back and forth with strangers, we're seeing scammers target those. McClellan says keep your accounts private. Be cautious of strangers who randomly message you. Don't click on any links. Don't accept or send any money. In the end, it wasn't cash, but pride that Yvonne lost. You've gambled and you lost and you, you know, you, you've been made a fool of and you really kind of deserve that because I, you know, all along the way I knew red flags. So Yvonne now uses Social Catfish. It's an online investigation service that verifies information about the person you've met online.